What's going on YouTube, it's Mike here. Yesterday, Apple released iOS 9 Beta 5, so let's take a look at it. So yes, yesterday, August 6, 2015, Thursday, Apple went ahead and released iOS 9 Beta 5. And I do apologize, usually on the same day, I do my best, actually within the same few hours, to actually do coverage on the latest and greatest betas. But however, like I said, I do apologize. I'm here in Orlando, Florida with my family on a week vacation in Universal and Disney. Anyways, so I have the beta right here on my phone. You can see things look a little bit different. By default now, when you reset the home screen layout, this is the default uh, iOS 9 home screen layout right here. You can have a look at it. And it, there's also a new wallpaper, as you'll notice. That is the new default wallpaper, we're assuming, uh, for iOS 9. They've actually pulled the green and blue Ocean Wave one that they started with. And if I go into settings here and go to wallpaper, you'll see not only did they change up the default one, but they've uh, went ahead and added a ton of brand new ones, as you can see here. And it goes all the way to those flowers which have existed since the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus came out. These are really to show off the beautiful uh, Retina HD displays that are in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. They're absolutely stunning. I suggest checking them out. But as you can see in the top left corner here, that's usually the one that's default. So we're assuming that this is the new default wallpaper. And it actually, you'll see in the background, I have the El Capitan. 10 wallpaper you can see it actually goes pretty nicely with it and you know with Apple trying to keep everything together continuity and all that this is definitely a better choice than the much uglier one they picked with the start of iOS 9 I really hated that one for those AT&T customers, including myself, Apple finally went ahead and added the feature Wi-Fi calling. And as you know, Wi-Fi calling, uh, it was introduced last year with iOS 8 for T-Mobile customers only, but now, next month in September, it's going to be available on iOS 9 as well. You'd think it would be available now, but trust me, you try turning it on, you hit enable, and you go to the AT&T site and it says, sorry, not available in your area yet. So we can expect this to launch uh, next month, which I'm really excited for. You get crystal clear phone calls as if it was FaceTime audio, which is really cool, really looking forward to this feature. Other than that, we've had a couple fixes here and there, like there's been CarPlay improvements. Also now, if your Wi-Fi signal, if you're on a weak signal Wi-Fi network, it'll automatically switch over to cellular at your discretion if you want that to happen. That's a big feature that I really want uh, because, you know, I have such a big data plan, like 40 gigs a month. So I'm perfectly fine with that, especially if Wi-Fi is just getting crappy. And all around, this beta update is definitely a lot more stable than any previous betas before. As you know, I talked about it on Twitter, Beta 4 was just horrific in terms of bugs and stability. Apps would just crash, take forever to load, freeze up, and it seems like a lot of those bugs have been squashed in Beta 5, which I'm really happy about. Additionally, a lot of bugs have been squashed and some new features as well in watchOS 2 Beta 5. I'm running that on my Apple Watch, and it's safe to say that watchOS 2 is finally getting somewhere. It's about damn time. But anyways, guys, if you want to access these iOS 9 developer betas, not just beta 5, but any future iOS 9 ones, you're going to want to make sure you register your device with UDIDregistrations.com. I'm shouting them in every video that revolves around iOS 9 betas, so check out their link in the description. I'm going to leave it there. And before you guys write me off and say that you could just get the public betas for free, yes, you're right on that one. I know I criticized a lot of you that do that in my last video. That didn't used to be the case where Apple would release. It didn't used to be the case at all where Apple would release a public beta literally right after developer beta. Trust me, if you remember the timeline from iOS 8 last year, it was not like that. And also, it didn't used to be where the actual updates were exactly the same. Now they are. I guess Apple is more open now to offering developer-like betas to public customers. I really don't know what their mindset is on that one. It's kind of like how this whole iOS 9 uh, developer beta calendar has been thrown off. They're just kind of mixed up this year. So... Don't get me wrong here, public beta, it's cool that it's free and all, but if you register your iDevice, you're going to have access to all beta firmwares for the entire course of a year. So after the iOS 9.0 public beta ends, that's it. When something like iOS 9.1 comes out, or 9.1.1, or 9.2, 9.3, etc., if you register your device with UDID registrations, you're going to have access to all those beta files all year round, 365 days uh, total from when you register. So I don't understand why you guys wouldn't register because then, like I said, you have access to all the betas. You could experience all the new features and fixes and stuff like that with just registering. So without a doubt, you should do it. If you want to go with public, go with public, but that's why you should go with developer. 
Anyways, enough of me ranting about that. I just wanted to clear it up because I'm sick of going through those comments. But if you guys like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, to rate give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mike's iOS Help, on Instagram at Mike.Cronin, and Periscope at Mike Cronin. All those links are appearing on the screen right now and are also down in the description. Guys, in my next video, I'm announcing something important. I've talked about it on Twitter a lot, and it's going to be a pretty important video and probably going to be the last one that that's uploaded in this type form, style, whatever you want to call it. That'll make sense soon. It's kind of big, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be uploading it pretty soon. That's it. Time to get back to vacation. I'll see you guys in the next one.